Uh, we're gonna talk about making a super shallow depth of field wide angle shot. Um, those two are kind of counterintuitive, especially after the last video where I talked about focal lengths and how focal length plays a key role into getting that super shallow depth of field. Well, um, I'm gonna show you a technique today where you can get a wide angle shot and get a super shallow depth of field. Um, I posted this photo on my Instagram account this week and a lot of people were interested in it so I thought I would recreate it, show you what goes into it, and talk about the technique that's used to make it. It's essentially a wide angle panorama shot that you take with a low f-stop and you take it with a longer lens. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the shot with the car in the center of the shot not much else around the car, basically just the car. We're going to switch the camera to manual mode and then we're going to take a series of other shots to the left, to the right, below and above to make a panorama of that first shot. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to zoom in on the car. When we keep it at manual focus, we can pan over without the focal length changing and it's going to be super shallow because we're really close to the car and our background is really far away, similar to what we talked about in that last video that posted on Monday. So let's get started. I'll show you the camera settings, what the framing looks like, and then in part two, we'll take all of the images back to the computer and we'll uh, process them in Lightroom or Photoshop and show you guys what that technique looks like and what the final result looks like. So let's get started. All right, so here's what I'm shooting with today. I am shooting with my 85 1.4. I'm gonna shoot at 1.4. Here's what it looks like, the distance away from the car. It seems like I'm a little far away, but it actually fills up the entire frame. Here's uh, what that shot looks like. I'm shooting at 1.4 to get the maximum blur on that background. Um, you don't necessarily have to shoot with 85 1.4, shoot with what you have. If you have a 50, whatever, it doesn't matter. The, the technique and the principles are still the same. You want that first shot with the majority of the car in. It just makes stitching in Photoshop or Lightroom that much easier. Um, and then the key is to get focus on the car and then switch it to manual focus. That way your focus point doesn't change. So when you swing the camera left and right to catch the sides, it's not going to switch focus. It's still going to be on the car, but that's what's going to give you that super shallow depth of field. So let's start taking some shots. So I actually switched to the other side of the car to get a little bit better shot. This side's more in shadow, so it's going to allow us to do what we need to do with a, with a single shot rather than trying to like HDR it. So let's get started shooting and I'll show you kind of what these shots look like. So. Here's the, so this is going to be the first shot. So here's our first shot. We're going to take our camera into manual, uh, manual focus so we don't change our focus. We're going to take the camera and we're going to swing it over so we have about 50% overlap. We're going to take another shot and then we're going to do the same thing and go 50% overlap again. Then we're going to swing back to the front, do 50% overlap the other way, and one more time. So if you look at the shots, we have the entire car in focus. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pan up and do the same thing. So now we're tilted up slightly. We're going to take that same shot. We're going to go over about 50% again. again and again and now we're going to go up a little bit more and we're going to do that again just so we have good overlap and you can do this handheld it's just easier to do on a tripod so we're going to go back to the car we want a little bit of the car in the bottom so we have good lineup for photoshop so we're going to take the shot pan this way Go back to the middle. So the big things to remember are 
To keep it on manual focus after you get that first shot, you want good 50% overlap on your shot. You don't want gaps when you go to stitch the photos together. So that 50% overlap is really important. You might end up taking 12, 15 shots, but it's important for Photoshop to have that information to be able to stitch the panorama together. So when we pick this up next, we'll be in Photoshop and we will be stitching these together as a panorama.